I once had a yardstick that was 34 inches long. Unfortunately, it was too short. My name is Victor Ashley, and I'm a real estate agent now in Seattle, Washington. You can reach me directly by using my contact information here, or you can leave a comment. I appreciate the snark, and I also uh, post daily, just so you know. Uh, so feel free to hit subscribe. I might cover an area that's important to you or might be important to your friend. So let's go into what I've actually been doing the last couple of days. I've been tracking the sales data from the uh, March of this year to the March of last year, and I have seen that home prices have actually gone down. Now, that's important to you as a home buyer or as a home seller, because on the flip side of being a home buyer, it, homes are more affordable. But on the other side, as a home seller, now your homes are worth less. So let's get into it right now. And uh, now you have an idea of what I cover. So I'm covering uh, a specific zip code, and that is the Mount Lake Terrace area. It's right here. This is 98043. Now, to give you a point of reference, here's the Space Needle down here. The Space Needle is about 16 miles south of this area. And also, uh, Mount Lake Terrace is just north of the Shoreline area, east of the Edmonds area. It's west of Bothell and Kenmore. And then at the same time, it's south of Everett. The reason why I do that is because I want to make sure that you have an idea of where this is. And, you know, maybe you have somebody that is not looking in that area, but you want to know what's adjacent to it. So I cover some of the other zip codes and I've already had them in my previous videos and they're right here if you want to watch them. Um, but let's get into this one right now. So here's the sales data for last year for this zip code, the 98043 in Malik Terrace. So there was 54 homes that actually completed their sale uh, during this period of time. The homes on average were $780,000 roughly, eight days on market, three beds, two baths, and about 1,600 square feet. Price per square foot came out to $489 a square foot. Now let's compare it to this year though. This year, uh, there was only 16 homes that completed their sale. Of these 16 homes, uh, the average cost was uh, $887,000, 12 days on market, three beds, two bath, and 1,860 square feet roughly. Now that sounds like more, but let's break it down by price per square foot. Price per square foot, $436 a square foot. Now when I compare the two uh, sizes of homes, I average them together and then I multiply them against their square foot cost. So last year I multiplied 1738, which is the average of the uh, square foot. Uh, and I came up with uh, an average home cost of $849,000. Uh, this year though, uh, I again, I multiplied our uh, price per square foot by the average and I came up with $758,000. And what that came out to was about a difference of $90,000. So if you're a home seller, your home is now worth $90,000 less than it was last year. To give you a comparison, that's 10%. If you're a home buyer, the homes now are $90,000 more affordable. That is a 10% decrease. <laughs> but here's the thing in this, interest rates. Interest rates this year to buy that same size house is $39,000. This year though, to buy the same size house, it's $4,700. And what that comes out to is a $750 a month difference and that is 19%. Also, I broke it down for you in rents. Rents to rent the exact same size house because you know life happens, Victor. And here's a video for it right now. But life happens, Victor. Things change. I want to rent this out. Uh, I bought it a year or two ago. What do you think I can actually get for my rents in this area? Rents right now are only going to bring in about $3,000 a month. So if you're on either of these mortgages right here, the 39 or the 47, depending on your average mortgage, you're not going to make your mortgage payment by renting out the home. You're going to have a loss at that time. So right now, just so you're aware, it's more affordable to actually rent. And again, I wanted to go over this kind of thing uh, because it's very important to see from both the buyer and the seller side of things, as well as the renter. Uh, so this is the areas that I cover. Uh, this is one of the areas that I cover and feel free to subscribe. I really appreciate your support and it's a pleasure. It was a pleasure working with you today and here we go.